Hi students, in today's video, I'm going to tell you how to make a diagnosis of missed abortion on ultrasound. Now, before I tell you how to make a diagnosis of missed abortion on ultrasound, please remember the sequence in which the structures are seen in case of TVS in a live intrauterine pregnancy. The first structure which you see on TVS is gestational sac. This is followed by yolk sac. Then fetal poles are, are visible. When the fetal poles are visible, crown rump length can be measured and then cardiac activity is seen. Based on this, let us see how to make a diagnosis of missed abortion on ultrasound. So if you are getting a mean sac diameter, mean sac diameter is the diameter of the gestational sac. If it is more than equal to 25 millimeters and fetal pole cannot be seen, that is crown rump length cannot be measured, then that means it is a case of missed abortion. Or if fetal poles are seen, crown rump length can be measured and it, is, it has become more than equal to 7 millimeters and cardiac activity has not appeared, then that indicates missed abortion. A third way of diagnosing missed abortion is if you can see a gestational sac on ultrasound and a yolk sac on ultrasound, you have waited for more than equal to 11 days and still on ultrasound, crown rump length cannot be measured, that is fetal poles cannot be seen or cardiac activity cannot be seen, that indicates missed abortion. Or if on ultrasound, a gestational sac is visible, yolk sac is not visible and you have waited for a period of more than equal to 14 days and still you are not getting any fetal poles or cardiac activity, then that indicates missed abortion. So please remember all these four methods of diagnosing missed abortion on ultrasound.